Gates. Hey, hey Larry. Hi. I, I was just thinking it's been, uh, we haven't had a formal conversation in years and years and years, but I know, yeah. I know you've been busy, so we're long overdue. So welcome to Trekland. Thank you. A and uh, this I is... I feel like I've been in Trekland a long time, but <laughs> I'm glad to be welcomed again. I don't think anybody could dispute that, but I know you've got a special baby you've been working on, but first we have to say something about, uh, wow, it's the 25th anniversary year? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't Seems it? Seems like you've been getting out and doing a few more conventions than normal. What's what's your, I mean... Yeah, um, well, I actually, I had not been doing conventions. I mean, I, I sort of have been, um, when I was still doing the show, because I was the only one who had a small child at that time, I really right. was spending all my time at home. And I didn't really want to travel to conventions at a certain point. I did it right. in the beginning because the fans had been so awesome. Thank you fans for writing letters to bring me back for the third season. And so I really, that's why I started doing conventions. Yeah. I didn't even think I was gonna do it again. I was just very moved by how generous and cool the fans were. So um, I think the first year I had been terrified of the fans. <laughs> but, um, and I probably still am, no I'm not. Um, but at any rate, I have come back doing them now. Um, my son is getting ready, by the way, to graduate from college. I was going to say, not so small anymore. Yeah, no, not so small, like 6'3". <laughs> but um, anyway, doing, doing Star Trek coming back, it's been such a blast to see uh, castmates. I, I've kept up with them, of course, but we, don't, we only do it about once a year as a group. Right. Because it's hard, of all of our schedules, cause we are all so busy. Um, but... It's just been fun yeah. to see each other again in this kind of hanging out way and not in our spacesuits. But um, yeah, well, we this had, is had a great time. this has been a, a special year because of the anniversary. You know, people love to mark anniversaries, so there's been a few more than one a year. And and again, I hope the the fan. I know the fan, I saw some of it in Vegas, but I know the fan reaction to you has been because you don't do that many. So I think people that do see you, then I I, th I think they appreciate appreciate getting the opportunity. And uh, well. Thank you. I, I certainly can't speak for the fans, but I can say that uh, it's quite amazing to have people say, you know, I grew up watching you, and they're like in their like late 30s or something. Right. Like, wow, that's amazing. And yeah. then their kids are coming. I'm sorry, the drilling. Is, well, that's a, it's a busy place. It is a busy place. What we're we're, we're uh, um, the real deal here. Yeah, I have painted these walls, you know. <laughs> I really, I have, I have done my, my diligence here. Um, I felt that I have a reason to be doing them now because mm -hmm. I wanted to bring awareness and raise um, some money for Ensemble Studio Theater Los Angeles and the right. Outwater Village Theater, which is which is my new big baby. Which is where we are. It's where we are. It's one of the theaters. Um, it's this is a, one of the emptier spaces right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a three, three theater space. One of them is Cabaret. It really looks pretty... Um, pretty bad while we're getting ready for our productions, but once the season opens, we, we shine it up and put the lights on and All have right. a beautiful lobby and uh, fix up the patio area, and it's really fun. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, because people know you now internationally from Next Generation, but you had a long career in theater, and still do, and choreographer, and people, you know, way more than the dancing doctor, <laughs> far before that, and work with the Jim Henson and the Muppets. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I, there's one question I do wanna ask you. I'd heard this, but I'd never heard you tell me this. Why did you use the, the credit of Cheryl McFadden on the pilot? Uh, I was Cheryl Gates McFadden. Yes. That's what I was. Okay. And, uh, when it finally came out, it changed to, I just went with my middle name, right. which had been sort of a nickname, which I always preferred. I never felt like I was a Cheryl. And I had done a lot of, like, the work I did for Henson was under Cheryl G. McFadden and a lot of acting in New York when I did Cloud Nine with the Tommy mm -hmm. Tim production. I was Cheryl G. McFadden. A lot of theater in New York. That was what I used. Um, I don't, you know. I just always wanted to ask. I because I, I like I identify with the name more. I feel more like a Gates, and uh, yeah. there you go. You think, well, I knew at the beginning nobody thought. A lot of people had no idea that the pilot would go in the series. I go. certainly did not think the pilot was going to go. I was one of the biggest, you know, because I didn't know Star Trek. You know, I just when when people say, you know, will you Star Wars or Star Trek, and I'm like. Frankly, I was neither, and I'm, I'm this weird person who, I was doing theater so much. I was going to say, you're in rehearsal every night. I really night. was yeah. in rehearsal, and you're doing shows every night. By the time I'd come home, I, you know, I, I was like, um, either watch a movie or go to bed. There wasn't like, a, I wasn't ever home to watch a series that would yeah, come out. of any kind. And yeah. I didn't know what warp speed was. 
I'm actually still not sure if I know it works. No, I do know. Um, but I think you know a hypo and a tricorder, and that's. Uh, um, I certainly have my license to operate a medical <laughs> tricorder. And thanks to Jerry Taylor, they got Dr. Crusher on the bridge, in the command chair. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would sit in it every time it was open, so yeah, I would. <laughs> I did my best on that. Um, my favorite time was in descent when I when I got to redecorate mm -hmm. the bridge, but nobody saw that. I did that. Before, uh, at the 7 a.m. rehearsal that we had with Patrick, I had uh -huh. redecorated the bridge and uh, was in curlers in a bathrobe, that, and Dr. Crusher was, and I had pictures of <laughs> Will, Will Wheaton's character and, uh, you know, a bottle of champagne thing and everything, uh -huh. and, and Patrick was a little surprised. But. No uh, no photos of this are extant, huh? No, it was huh? just, actually, it was just pretty funny in the morning. He was like... What is going on? <laughs> now, see, if you guys had had cell phone cameras and digital cameras right. in the day, we right. would have all the... I, I Thank lament that. we didn't. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, the theater's always been you, been in your blood. So you've wound up at this project. What's in the intervening, intervening years, uh, and what, what led you to this, um, to well, Atwater Village? I was asked to... I, I've always been a member of Ensemble Studio Theater. I was a member in New York. That's where I did a lot of plays mm -hmm. there. And then I had done some work when I was out here. But I really love developing new spaces. Mm -hmm. And um, so this became available. There was a developer who talked to me and said, would you be interested? One of my students was actually dating his son and said, what if this was turned into a theater? And uh, it was two factories. So I sort of did plans, drew some plans, and put the grid in and did stuff like that. And yeah. voila, I really love it because it's about ideas and new ideas. We only do new plays. We do not we do go. the classics. Like Armin right. and Kitty work with the company and they do classics. Mm -hmm. But we really do uh, new work, which I'm, I love doing. Uh, it's part of why I loved teaching for so many years. I love working with young people because they bring their point of view of the world, new ideas. Right. Um, well, it's good for LA to do that. I mean, I don't, don't want to go into stereotypes, but you know, New York always has the upper hand on theater supposedly in LA is where the actors are treading water until they're on film but it's great to have a new no may I say please LA, do I came out here kicking and screaming I was a major <laughs> New Yorker and it took me several years but I actually am so happy living in LA I think there are better writers actors directors here mm -hmm. than anywhere else in the world actually I think all of the countries everybody comes here because they you, you know, they want to do television and film, so you've got all these amazing, talented people here. So anyway, um, I think, I think it's, a, it's a great place. It kind of makes sense because I was teaching at USC and things like that. I have a lot of my former students who are involved here. Good, And, um, yeah. and it it's sort of brings together the idea of mentoring, exploring ideas, doing something where it's live. There's a performer and a spectator and there's something really unique that happens mm -hmm. when you're in a small theater. Also we're doing very edgy work on the whole. We do things that are, um, it's not so much designed to, it, we're non-profit, we're not about making, uh, uh, making money actually. We're about bringing new work, new ideas um, to fruition, to mm -hmm. talk about them, to have, mm -hmm. have new stories told, to tell them in different ways. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, very proud of the people I've been, been working with here and excited. We're going to have five shows that are opening. We have two shows in one theater that will be in rep. Both plays reflect uh, the sort of cross-cultural and generational cost of war, the effects emotionally, the effects of mm -hmm. war on uh, all of us. And then we're doing two comedies. I'm directing one of them called The Fisherman's Wife. Um, Good, I was going to ask. Okay. And a very hilarious, slightly dirty play. Um, <laughs> and they're both about couples and relationships and how do you deal with it. And that will be in our smaller space, the cabaret space. Um, okay? You're very proud of this place. I yes. am. Why not? We've done a lot of work. <laughs> okay. So well, tell me, come so, on down. Come on down and see the new the So new the play. five shows are going to be, that's, that's, we'll put the dates up, but it's basically uh, the fall, right? It's, Opens September 15th, then two weeks later the next one, 
one week later the next one, one week later the next one, and one week later the, the last one. So there's actually six, really. But, okay? Okay. Well, well Gates, thanks a lot. Come on down, everybody. Come on down. I think, yeah, I, and the themes of the plays, anyone who really calls himself a Trek fan would appreciate uh, some of those I was exploring. Say that. I, I, I really do believe uh, the plays are very tolerant. They're about tolerance and understanding mm -hmm. and uh, dealing with fear in a different way other than aggression. Yeah, yeah, very Be good. Be well, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for having us down. All right, take and care. And best later. of luck. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye.